Great, today we have a quick video talking about the alert, confirm, and prompt method. Now these are methods that are built into JavaScript in the browser. They're not part of Node, but in the browser they're built into the window object and they allow us to display messages in a modal way. And I'll explain what that means. So in this page, I simply have three paragraphs. When I click on them, I'm going to be calling a function. And this one we'll call the alert method, this one the confirm, this one the prompt. So getting to the alert, confirm, and prompt method, as I was saying, they do exist inside the window object. So we can call them like that, but we can also call them just directly. And that's because this window object is a global object. And if there's something that's inside of there, when you call the method, JavaScript is automatically going to look inside the window object to see if that thing exists. So we can check for that. If you're ever looking to see if a method exists inside of some other object, we could say, okay, is there something called alert in the quotation marks, just like this, inside of the window object? And if so, we'll write out a message. Just say, yep. And there it is. So it is existing inside of window. We can do the same thing looking for stuff like the document object. Yep, it is there. So just to show you that this did change, doc, there it is. So we have things that exist directly inside of window. We can call them with or without the word window in front of them. All right, so what does the alert do? Well, we can just display a message like that. So when I click on this, it calls the alert method, and there's the message in this little dialog box that's popping up. Now, depending on which browser you're using, it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, some browsers will have a little close button in the top right-hand corner here. Over time, the display of these boxes has changed as well. Clicking on OK put, makes it disappear. Now, modal, what I was mentioning before, you'll notice my hovers no longer work here. A modal dialog means that you cannot do anything else on the page until you have dealt with this thing. So this dialog box has now taken control of the browser. The browser is not allowed to do anything else until I click on this OK button. I can't come over here. I can't, oh well, in the browser pane here, I can't do anything. I can't click on other elements. I can't highlight, select, save, anything like that. The dev tools are, are separate, but this part right here is completely controlled by the, the modal. So I click on OK. Now you can see these are working. I can now select things. So we're back to normal. And that's what modal means. The alert, the return value from this is just undefined. So it's the string undefined. It's just like calling a function that doesn't have a return keyword. And if we just want to see it, let's say answer. So I click and then say OK, undefined. That's what you get back from the alert. Now confirm and prompt, very much the same as the alert. The difference with the confirm is that you are going to get either a true or a false. That's what's going to come back from this. So we'll jump over here, test this confirm. I click, there's my message, and I have a cancel or an OK. The cancel will give me false, and if I click on OK, I get true. If you have one of the uh, older ones that has the close button up here, it'll give you the same answer as the cancel. It'll also return false. And then the prompt, I use double and single quotes here, it doesn't make a difference. For this one, instead of true and false, we're going to get back either the person's actual answer or we're going to get null. So if I hit cancel, or I hit the close button, I'm going to get null. If I actually type something, I'm going to get null. So prompt, there it is, the question text. And the default answer is the default text that goes inside of here. Person can delete that if they want. They can type something else. 
when I click on OK, whatever I typed, that is what's coming back from here. Even if it's an empty string, that's still an answer. So prompt, if I hit cancel now, that's when I get the null. And that's it. Those are the three methods, alert, confirm, and prompt, and their possible answer. So this one is always going to be undefined. We get true or false. We get the answer that was typed or null. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. A copy of this code is linked to in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.